everyone, welcome back to Guitar Image YouTube channel. Okay, today we're gonna do a quick video. Uh, in one of our videos of HX Storm, we talk about how we can enhance your HX Storm tone with a single analog pedal, and we featured the exotic Super Clean, right? So today we're gonna talk about something else, which is within HX Storm that can help you to enhance your tone. Having said that, you will need to sacrifice one block of your uh, eight blocks, okay? But this sacrifice may be worth it because it helps you to, it just brings your sound alive, thickens your tone, uh, it just makes the playing a bit more enjoyable, okay? So I'm gonna do it uh, first without, okay? Maybe even without the super clean. So I'm gonna turn on my super clean right now, okay? The, the the chain stays the same, alright? Guitar into super clean due to protein into HX Storm, alright? It didn't change. So this is uh, the matchless uh, patch that we have created when we did the comparison between the AC30 and the matchless. So this is the matchless patch right now with uh, the super clean turn off and our secret block turn off as well. So let's hear how this sounds. Turn on the super clean right now. So this is the analog pedal that will enhance your tone. Switch it on, it brings your tone out. It becomes alive. Uh, a bit more volume, definitely, but it gets more clarity, uh, a bit more body as well. Right. Now, here comes the secret sauce, the secret ingredient, which was released in, I believe, the 3.0 version of the HX Storm. All right? It's under the modulation, okay? It's called the Retro Reel. Now, many, many people have been talking about Retro Reel and since the launch of uh, 3.0, Retro Reel has been on our patches ever since. But we have not extensively talked about it and uh, we just left it on for most of our demos and we didn't talk about it. So I think today is a good time to just share a little bit about Retro Reel, right? Uh, and the sounds that it, it kind of uh, create. Okay, so this is without the retro reel, right? Pretty nice. Now let's see what does a retro reel do to your tone. suddenly if you turn it off you're like hey something is missing in my tone right and, and you turn it back on it's like wow this feels great this sounds great if you turn it off you're like oh no something is suddenly missing and uh, that is why it became something that is always found in our patches uh, it's always turned on and uh, it just makes the 
digital sound become a little bit more analog if that's a way to put it um, so we got two secret ingredients right now right I got the super clean turn on and I got my retro reel turn on uh, that kind of give me that uh, the am kind of a feel you know uh, when I play with digital modelings okay uh, I may be wrong right but it's just how I feel when I'm hearing it through the whole setup right here in the studio Okay, so this retro reel, it's a analog tape machine which sends back a signal, right? Which in essence thickens your tone uh, in a certain way. Okay, so there's a few parameters that you can play with within uh, this retro reel uh, block, right? First is the wild flutter. So wild flutter is something that makes your sound wobbly. So if you don't like such wobbly sounds, then put it at a low level like what we did at 0.5. So this is 0.5 Now check it out when it's almost near max That is called the wow flutter which actually uh, makes it very chorusy right? So you can, you can, it can become like a chorus pedal in itself right? Let's put it to half. So it can become a very nice ambient kind of a, a effect if you if you choose to have have this on your board. Okay, so right now I put it at zero point five. Now the saturation is also very interesting. It can make this sound like a distortion or rather an overdrive. So low saturation you can't really hear it. Let's put it at a maximum. You can you can make it a chorus pedal. You can also make it a distortion or overdrive pedal. So, if it, when you waste one block to thicken your sound, but with snapshot mode, you can actually play with these parameters to change it to a chorusy sound, to give a little bit more gain, a bit more push, uh, to your M M sound, right? So you can you can kick on the saturation, so it becomes a little bit like an overdrive pedal. So that's pretty interesting as well. Alright, you have your usual low cut, high cut. Okay, I'm not gonna talk about that. Okay, the speed of the tape is how fast it's moving, right? Here, uh, the flutter. So I'm gonna put the flutter. So at, you can see when I put it to 30, you can hear it's moving fast. Seven point five is slower. Yeah. Okay. And lastly is like texture. Okay, so let's put texture at zero now. Let's see how that sounds. Let's put texture at max. basically uh, smoothens out the sound, uh, makes it wetter in a certain sense. So at texture at zero, is become you can hear the original signal a little bit more. Texture at 10, it just blends a little bit more and becomes, uh, I would say, silkier, smoothie, smoother kind of a sound. Alright, so uh, this retro reel, in essence, is a very versatile um, modulation block which gives chorus sound, which gives you distortion, overdrive distortion, which helps you to fatten your tone. And uh, yeah, with this three function, actually it's a very useful block to have out of your eight blocks. All right, so do give it a try, uh, have fun with it. Uh, it's not a must have, but for us, uh, the super clean and the retro reel does play an important part in the overall tone. 
okay so have fun with it try it on your board let me know how does it sound if you have the helix or the hx storm or the hx storm xl this retro is definitely available do try it out okay so with that uh do give us a good thumbs up if you like the content subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the latest videos okay you take care god bless i will see you real soon bye